Hello, everyone, and welcome to my corner of the internet. If you're new here, my name is Christina, and I do a lot of fashion and thrift hauls, thrift with me's, unboxings, and that sort of thing. So if that is something that you're interested in, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about some new additions that I've made to my fashion collection, um, some new pieces that I'm excited about, um, and some other pieces that I just haven't shown you yet. Um, so before I get into this video, I do want to give a little disclaimer as to why I have been kind of inactive lately. Um, so there was a little issue with my apartment that I'm currently living in. Um, we had a leak downstairs um, in the bathroom, and there was a little bit of a flood situation going on downstairs. So that pretty much took up my whole weekend last weekend trying to call maintenance and get that taken care of, and maintenance couldn't quite figure out what was going on, and my husband and I had to move a lot of stuff out of the way of the water that was coming from the bathroom and couldn't figure out where the water was coming from. It, it's just, it was a mess. Um, but yeah, so that pretty much took up most of our Saturday and Sunday, which was when I was planning to do this video. Um, so I'm sorry that this is a little late, but that's why. Um, and the problem has been fixed. It's been settled. So hopefully we won't have any more instances of flooding and stuff like that, and that's also why there's more stuff behind me than there normally is in the background, um, because we had to move everything that was in the area that got wet, we had to move everything out of the way so that um, some of our boxes of stuff wouldn't get ruined. Um, so I have a box, like boxes and boxes of books behind me. Um, that had to be moved up here because they were in the way of the flood that was happening downstairs. So I apologize for the messy background and for the late start to this video, but let's go ahead and get started. So before I jump into the different pieces that I'm going to talk about today from my closet, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the outfit that I'm wearing right now. Um, so this little top is actually a crop top, and I got it from Romwe, um, which is an Asian retailer website, in case you don't know. Um, and I believe I got it for about $5, so it was pretty cheap. Um, it's pretty thin material, but it's, it's nice. It's lightweight, it's good for summer, and I like to layer it with different things. Um, the earrings I got from Forever 21 for a couple of dollars. They were on sale as well. Um, with, I think it was the transition from spring to fall, and they were trying to get rid of a lot of their spring items. Um, so I grabbed these, and then I've got a little fluffy hair tie from Ulta Beauty. Um, Ulta Beauty actually has a lot of faux fur hair ties that are really good quality and don't actually fall apart, and I tend to have that problem with hair ties that have this faux fur material is that the faux fur comes off or starts shedding or they just break really easily. Um, but these are actually really good quality. Um, and then finally, the little dress that I have over this um, is from Aerie. It's actually technically a nightgown. Um, and I do use it sometimes as a nightgown, but sometimes I just feel like wearing it out because I feel like it's so pretty, it's almost a shame to only wear it to bed. So, yeah, that is my outfit for today, and I can back up and show you a little bit of what this looks like. Give you all an idea of what it looks like. This is the dress on with the little crop top and the earrings, and it's got that, like, baby doll kind of style where it's loose-fitting, which I like because I'm a little bit more pear-shaped, so I like having it a little bit more flowy at the bottom. And it's also got a little bit of lace at the bottom as well. It's kind of going in and out from the clouds, so if it gets brighter or darker, I'm really sorry. I'll try to do the best I can with this lighting situation. 
All right, so the first item that I have isn't technically new, it's newer. Um, I haven't really had a chance to wear it just because it's just now starting to get a little bit cooler, um, but not by much. So I will probably not be able to wear it till maybe November when it finally gets fall-like around here, because in Texas, it basically feels like summer for a really, really long time. But it's just this sweater from Misguided, and it's got these beautiful pastel color blocking pattern going on. And I believe I got it in a size small. Yes, I did. And it is just like the softest material. And I've noticed that um, Forever 21 has started making um, cardigans and sweaters for fall that are made out of this exact same material. So if you own this sweater from Misguided and you love it and you just love this material, then I would suggest uh, heading over to Forever 21 and taking a look at some of their new inventory because some of it is like exactly this material. Um, but it's very soft, very fuzzy. And what I love most about it is the sleeves. It has like those balloon type sleeves that I love that are so cute and it's a little bit cropped so I like to wear this one with my high-waisted jeans that I've thrifted um so that's just one of the many pieces that I love from my collection and the next piece is actually from Shein which is another um, Asian retail store online and I believe I got this one in a large, just because some of their stuff tends to run small. And just so you know, the shirt that I got from Romwe, I got it in a medium, and I probably should have gotten it in a large, just because the sleeves are a little bit snug. So I would suggest almost everything on their website to size up, um, just because it's a little bit smaller than American sizes. Um, and this one I got in a size large. It's just a sweatshirt. I've only been able to wear this really around the house right now because, like I said, it still feels like the middle of summer outside. Um, and it's probably going to feel like that for the next month and a half. So haven't really had a chance to wear this much. But what I loved about it was the sleeves. Again, like that last sweater, it has very unique sleeves. It's got the sequins, and the fur, which I've never seen fur like this on a sweatshirt before, and I thought it was really, really fun and an interesting detail. So it's not very fuzzy on the inside. It's pretty lightweight, um, which is good. I kind of wish it was a little bit more oversized because I love just being able to throw on an oversized sweatshirt and put on some leggings and maybe like put my hair in a bun and put a little fuzzy, fluffy scrunchie in there and just go. But yeah, so that's what that one looks like. It's kind of this more rosy pink, so it kind of goes with this top too. It's not really a baby pink, it's more of a more of a rosy type pink which I don't normally go for. I usually prefer like the baby pink, but because of the sleeves and how unique it was, I just felt like I really needed to have it. And it's so much fun. But yeah, so that is the second item. And I'll move on to the third one. The third item I got from a seller um, on Depop and I was so excited to find this item. It was so unique looking and different from anything that I have in my wardrobe right now. It's not pastel, but it kind of goes with the whole kawaii cute aesthetic. It has cats on it as well. It's a little baby doll style, kind of similar to like the Lazy Oaf dresses with the baby doll style and little buttons. It also has pockets very similar to the Lazy Oaf dresses, but this is not Lazy Oaf. This is a different brand. And it just has these little cats all over it. And I just adore this print. Like, I am definitely a crazy cat lady. 
Um, I don't have a cat right now. I wish I did, but I don't because it's very expensive at our apartment complex to have pets. So I don't at the moment, but I'd love to have a cat someday. And every time I wear this dress, I've only worn it like once or twice, but every time I do, I get lots of compliments on it. It's got this cute little collar and some more buttons. I can't really read the brand name. Um, it's called, I think, Neely Chan something. I'm not 100% sure. I can post a picture of the actual tag and see if someone else is better at reading this than me. I don't know if it's the font or the, I don't know, I don't know what it is about it, but it's kind of tricky to read, so I don't know. If you're looking for something like this, I would just um, search cat dress into whatever you're searching through, whether it's Poshmark or Depop or um, just anywhere that sells clothes and see if you can find it. I have this in a size medium and it fits me really well. It fits slightly oversized. The sleeves have this little like elastic part so it almost, that's the only thing that I don't really like is the sleeves. I kind of wish that it was short sleeved because I think then I'd be able to wear it more often. Um, and the little elastic is kind of annoying on my arms sometimes. It kind of feels like I have a a hair tie on my arm. Um, but other than that, I, it's really comfortable and it's a great piece. And I can't wait to start wearing this now that it's um, about the right season to wear this. If you're new to this channel, you might not know that I love animals, and uh, particularly farm animals are some of my favorites. Um, and I just love cows. I don't know why, but I just love them. I feel like they're like giant grass-eating puppies. Um, so I joke about that all the time with my husband. And I saw this next item that had cows on it, and I just thought, thought that it would fit really well into my collection, especially with my, like, uh, Fairy K vintage sweater collection. So, here it is. It's a pink sweater with little cows on the top. Aren't they so cute? Some checkered print, some little watermelons, which I thought was really cute. Little farmhouses and trees, and then some hearts. It's not sparkly or anything, um, which made me hesitate a little bit when I first saw it. I thought, well, it's not sparkly, so it won't really go with the rest of my um, collection. But I just, I can't find anything that has cows on it, hardly, and I just fell in love with this and thought, you know what, it is pastel, it is pink, and it has cows, so I think it's it's perfect for my collection. And on the back, it's just plain pink, and then it's got little hearts at the bottom and at the bottom of the sleeves. I kind of wish the pattern continued on the back. That's the only thing that I'm a little bit disappointed about, is that it didn't continue on both sides. Um, but this is an Adele sweater. It looks like maybe an older tag. So it does fit in with my other Adele sweaters. And it's just so adorable. I haven't had a chance to wear this yet. This is brand new. Um, I don't even think I have a picture of it on my Instagram yet. So I'm so stoked to wear this. And I can't I just can't wait because it is so, so adorable. This piece that I want to show you all also has cows all over it. Um, I saw this item on eBay and I showed it to my husband and was like, can you believe that someone actually made this? Like, this is like me to a T. And he saw it and even he was like, yeah, you have to have that. Like, it's just so cute. Um, and so I bargained with the seller and was able to get it for a really good price. And I was so excited because this item um, 
is vintage, but it was new with tags, so it was um, new dead stock, and I was so excited to have it. It's by the brand Spumoni. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. And it's a size large. And usually I think the tags don't normally have the size on there because I've bought other items from this brand and they don't usually list the size or the size part has been cut off. So this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I'm just obsessed. It has cows all over it and it's got this cow print, which is actually kind of trendy. Um, I don't know that anyone would take this this extreme. <laughs> um, but it's got the cow print and then it's got this brightly colored like neon print on it as well. And it's just got cows all over it, even on the sleeves and on the back. I've actually been contemplating about wearing this to Chick-fil-A on their uh, Dress Like a Cow Day. Because I feel like I'm, you can't get much more cow-like than this. Like, this is amazing. And I couldn't believe that it was brand new with tags. Um, it was just amazing. It's I just love the colors. I love the pink, blue, and green together. I just love the little cute cow faces. I mean, they are just adorable. Like, just absolutely adorable. And it is so soft on the inside, and you can feel that the, like, fuzzy material on the inside is brand new. Like, sometimes when you get some of these, like, sweatshirt material things, and they're vintage or they're thrifted, they've been used and washed so many times that the inside is no longer soft and fuzzy anymore. But this one, since it was brand new with tags, it still feels amazingly soft on the inside. I've been wearing this around the house whenever it's kind of chilly downstairs. Um, but yeah, I haven't really had a chance to wear this one out and about. I think some of my friends might hate me for wearing this out and about because it's so loud and in your face. But I kind of love loud and in your face, so that's okay with me. But yeah, so that is my other brand new addition to my collection. Now, I could not remember if I showed this to you all in a different video or not, so I just figured I'd include it briefly here. Um, but there's this beautiful sparkly cat sweater, which I love so much. I've been searching for this sweater for a really long time, particularly in this colorway because it's got that mint green kind of color, and I just love it, and it's very different from the rest of my collection that's normally like pink, blue, or purple, but this one is a slightly different colorway, and I just love it. It's by Rose. And it's not as oversized as I would like it to be, but it is just big enough that I can probably get away with wearing it with leggings. So that's one of my newer additions to my vintage sparkly Fairy K collection. And the next newest addition, and this one I'm sure that I haven't shown you all yet. Um, I believe in my last video I was talking about how I was still looking for this one. Um, but I finally found it, and I found it for a really, really amazing price. I think I got it for like $30, $40 ish, which is insane. Um, the printer right next to me was making some weird noises. Um, but I think um, this one I haven't seen at that price, like ever. I usually see it at like a hundred dollars or ninety dollars or even as high as a hundred and fifty or two hundred dollars. Um, I believe this one is available on eBay right now for ninety nine dollars. Um, but I got it for like thirty or forty. I believe I got this one on Poshmark and it is so beautiful. I just am in love with it. It's the pink version. I have the purple version, and I've had that one for a while, and I got that one on Poshmark as well. Um, and this one is pretty oversized, as you can see, and that is a rare find because with these sweaters, people tend to um, scoop up the ones that are 
the oversized look because everyone wants it. It's more comfy. You can wear it with leggings. It's more um, size inclusive. So the ones that are a little bit bigger and a little bit more oversized tend to go really fast and tend to be much more expensive than the smaller sizes. So I was very surprised to find this one for such a good price. And it's just got the little roses on top. It's also by the brand Rose. It's got the little checkered print. And it's got the little scene with the ducks and the farmhouse and the fence. And then the checkered print and roses on the bottom. The print is continued on the back and on the sleeves. I just am obsessed with it, and I can't believe that I was able to find both of these in the pink and the purple on Poshmark for such a good price. If you don't have a Poshmark and you're not looking for these sweaters on there, I would highly recommend that you go and uh, check Depop, check uh, Poshmark, and check all those apps regularly because some people find these thrifting and they don't know. Um, how much people are willing to pay for them. So snag them up as soon as they are available. And finally, I have this amazing piece that I've been saving up for, I don't know, maybe like six or seven months. I've been saving and saving and saving because I really wanted this sweater and I even messaged the seller and said, I'm, I'm saving up. Can you hold it for me so that I can finish saving up the money that I need um, to get this sweater? And she agreed to hold it for me, which I'm so, so, so thankful for. Um, and I just used all the money that I've earned from Poshmark and Depop, and I just pulled it all together to buy this amazing sweater. This is probably the biggest purchase I have ever made for my. Fairy K Vintage Kawaii Sweater Collection, and it was worth every penny to me, anyway. Some people might look at it and go, why would you spend that much money on one item? But it's so beautiful, and it's so, so rare. Um, and I just, I've been eyeing it forever and dreaming about it and wishing I could have it. And finally, finally, it's in my possession. And I wanted to share it with you. It's this beautiful Heartworks sweater. And it's got unicorns on it. Oh my gosh. Like, this is the dream sweater out of all my dream sweaters. This is my absolute favorite sweater that I've ever come across in my entire life and to find one to find the unicorn sweater from Heartworks in pretty much perfect vintage condition I don't think there's any flaws at all and it still has these little streamers on it a lot of times when you find this one the streamers have detached or whatever you call these but it's just amazing and it's in a size large and this is technically a kid size but the large fits me fine and it's got this purple pink pastel yellow and pastel green colorway and it's just amazing and it's sparkly throughout i don't know if you can see that on camera or not the unicorn sweater is incredibly rare. I've only seen this sweater once and I've been sweater hunting for about two years now. Um, and this sweater is just amazing. Like I, I have no words. And it's got, it even has unicorns on the sleeves, which is an incredible little detail. It's pretty much perfect. The only thing is just a little bit of pilling here and there, which is pretty typical of these sweaters anyway, and there's easy ways to fix that. Um, but, and then it's just got the pattern on the back. It's just incredible. Just an incredible find. I will never part with this, ever. <laughs> this is going to be a permanent 
piece of my collection, and I just wanted to share it with you all so that you all could witness the amazing beauty that is this sweater. So thank you for watching all the way to the end. This is just a couple of new additions um, to my collection that I wanted to share with you all. And I will be doing a Thrift With Me video very, very soon, so look out for that as well. I'm also considering changing my hair, my hair color. This is my natural hair color as it is right now. My hair used to be red, so you can still kind of see some of the red in it. Um, but my hair is naturally reddish brown. And I've been thinking about changing it up for a little while now, so if you have any comments or thoughts or suggestions as to what I should do with it, if I should cut it, if I should dye it a different color, please let me know in the description below um, or, or in the comments below. And I'm going to link my Instagram and my Depop and my Poshmark in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for new videos coming soon. Bye!